On today's episode, I talk about anxiety or energy or goals or finish lines or some wisdom that I've had that has helped me catapult my success through how I utilize and understand anxiety and energy. And so it's a short episode. It's five minutes. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Send me a DM on Instagram with your thoughts, your takeaways, or even anything that you want to share with me, but only after you listen to the episode. So let's get into the show. It's time to cue the intro. Welcome back to another episode of the Mind of George Show. You know what today is? Today is a Minute Monday. I don't know why I named it Minute Monday because they're always five minutes or seven minutes with the intro and outro. But either way, it's under, it's single digit minutes. How's that? We'll call it single digit Minute Monday. And I always forget what the analogy is, but I know it's Minute Monday because there's no other analogy. Winning Wednesdays, free for our Fridays, Minute Monday. Okay. Welcome to the inside of my brain. What is today on? Today is on anxiety. Now, let me have a disclaimer. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not recommending you do anything differently than what you do. I always recommend you seek professional help in things that are common for you. And I can only share my experiences. And so one of the things that I have been focused on in the last couple of years is really understanding my triggers, understanding my anxiety, understanding where it comes from. And I have a lot of coaches, a lot of teachers, and I've done a lot of work on this for myself. And so I got asked this question, And I also asked one of my teachers this question and their answer blew my mind. And I was like, I can't figure out why I have anxiety. And they looked me dead in the eye and three different teachers at three different times said, anxiety is unused energy and it's unused because you lack clarity on where to put it. And it blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. And I thought about it. And I thought about it and I started to pay attention to all these times I would have anxiety. I'd be working in my day and I would get this anxiety and I was like, oh, and that anxiety was energy that wanted to come out. And then it would get worse and worse because I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I would like freeze and I would sit with it and I would be frozen because I didn't know what to do with it. And so I was like, where do I use it? And I was like, well, personally, do I use it to work out or in business? Where do I put it? And I started to really, really unpack it. And, and one of my teachers, uh, Stefano Safandos, says this so well, and I text him all the time, and I was like, I have anxiety, what do I do? And he's like, sit with it, <laughs> and sit with it, and sit with it, and explore it. And explore it from a place of noticing, like where it may be coming from, like why is this coming up and where can I use it? And then finding clarity and direction to then apply that energy to. And I've started to realize in the last couple of years that almost all of my anxiety has come from the quote unquote unknown, but not the unknown, like I can't figure it out, but the unknown of me lacking direction and tight containers on where I put my energy every day. So I have an expectation and a feedback loop that I'm heading in the right direction, right? And so I can imagine what it would feel like for somebody to be like, Hey, you're going to go be an Olympic athlete go train and you be like, okay, cool. But what sport? And they're like, we're not going to tell you till that day. You wouldn't know what to train for. You would have all this energy and you'd probably have anxiety because you wouldn't know where to put it. And so as an entrepreneur, as a CEO, as an owner, no matter what your position is, or even as an employee, what I have found is that once I can find a target, not a permanent target, not like where I want to be in five years, but where I want to be tomorrow, then I can take that feeling and I can get crystal clear on what it is I'm supposed to be doing or I need to be doing. And the moment I have that clarity, I turn that anxiety and I turn it towards that target and I utilize that energy to accomplish something. And nine out of 10 times, it always goes away. And another one of my teachers, Jeff Spencer, um, who will be on the podcast soon, he's responsible for 40 gold medalists. He's an absolute champion when it comes to coaching. I mean, he's coached everybody from U2 to Lance Armstrong to Tiger Woods on their mindset. He has the champion's blueprint. And he was an Olympian himself. And he always talks about being a consummate professional, right? Like our job is to go to work. If we're an entrepreneur, it's to go be that entrepreneur. If we're a father, it's to go be that father. If it's a husband, it's to go be that husband. If it's whatever it is, it's our job to be a professional. But in that, what comes up for me is in order for me to be a professional, I have to know what my profession is. I have to know what my strengths are and I have to know what I'm training for every single day. 
And in entrepreneurship, there's a lot on our plates. It could be social media, email, customer service, ads, video, scripting, vision, mission, planning, fulfillment, coaching. I mean, there's thousands of things that can be on our plate. But at the end of the day, we can still only do one of them at a time effectively. And so it's our job to realize when anxiety comes up or feelings of discomfort come up, number one, to explore it. Ask where it's coming from. Ask why it might be coming up now. Look at what surrounded the situation and the circumstance to bring it forth and then figure out where we have a target, where we need clarity, where we can find clarity, where we can refocus on what our goals are and find that and then utilize that energy in that direction to create momentum. And so no matter what you follow, what camp you're in, whether you're thinking about fitness or entrepreneurship or growth or personal development or marriage interpersonal relationships, working out or anything, the secret is movement. The secret is progress. And the enemy of our growth is stagnation. And so when these moments come up, what I do for myself now is I explore it. I ask why it's coming up, where it might be coming from, and I might never find an answer. I ask where I need to go in that day. What's the next hurdle that I can jump or what's the next rock that I can move? I get clear on what that is and then I direct my energy towards that and nine out of 10 times, my anxiety goes away. And so these are some thoughts that I had that have been coming up a lot in my mastermind calls with a few other people and even with personal clients. And so I wanted to share that because in my opinion and my experience, outside of underlying medical conditions, what I have really found is that to be true, that anxiety is unused energy. And so once I have clarity, I can direct that energy towards something positive create momentum through my action, and then the results follow. So that's what I got for you today on today's Monday Minute. So have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, I will see you in the next episode or you will hear me in your earballs. But right now, it's time to cue the outro. Bye.